Hey everyone, it's Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com, and it's Tuesday, August 25th. Time for our weekly boxing talk. Um, you know, we always lead off with uh, Manny Pacquiao and Miguel Cotto and these things, and that's because uh, that to me is, is going to be the, uh, the the biggest fight uh, of the year of what's remaining. And, uh, you know, n not a lot of news going on, still the whole 145, 147 talk. And, uh, you know, both these guys are not going to be at those weights when they step into the ring for the actual fight. Uh, the titles are all going to be on the line. The discussion is pretty much over. They're into training, and I'm going to guess the next we hear from these guys maybe watching an episode of 24-7, maybe, maybe a little press tour and some other stuff like that. Can't wait to see them get it on in the ring. Um, you know, don't have anything too insightful to add here as, as far as this one goes because we pretty much have set it all up to this point. Plus, we hear some surprising stories. We know Umberto Soto is on the undercard, and uh, maybe we'll see some uh, some rematches on the undercard, like maybe the uh, you know Le Le uh, Luevano and uh, Concepcion maybe uh, rematch it on the undercard. Wouldn't that be nice? Definitely something to think about. In any event, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Juan Manuel Marquez. This fight has all the makings of a bust. Um, ticket sales just continue to be painfully slow for this one. Real disappointment, uh, you know, for everyone involved. Um, you know, Nacho Bearstein saying that, um, you know, Juan Manuel is not at 100% yet. And, uh, you know, I'm not buying that one bit. Uh, we all know Juan Manuel is going to be 100% and give 100% heart when he steps into the ring against uh, Pretty Boy Floyd. Um, the news on Mayweather, though, isn't so good. Uh, police investigated his home. There was a shooting outside a skating rink in Las Vegas. No one was injured, but a car was shot up. And, uh, you know, Floyd May Mayweather's scene was ID'd. Floyd Mayweather's car was ID'd at the scene. And uh, police did do an investigation. That's the latest on that on this story. Um, if more news comes out on it, we'll be sure to be all over it. But uh, right now, that, that's that's all we know. And uh, you know, police did search uh, Floyd Mayweather's uh, Rolls Royce. Um, boxing news also: Paul Malignaggi and uh, Juan Diaz fought it out last week. Um, you know, in, in Houston, Texas, and Malignaggi. Oh, really disappointed in this decision. Um, I'm not so sure who really won the fight, but, uh, you know, the way this, the fight was scored with one judge having it 118-110 for Diaz, um, there's no way that fight was 118-110. There's no way anyone that could have watched that fight had it 118-110. But uh, apparently one of the judges did, who has one of the best seats in the house, though the other judges didn't have a score even close to that. Um, pretty amazing stuff. Molinaji definitely has a, has, a, has a point here and definitely has a, uh, you know, an axe to grind with uh, you know, some of the boxing organizations. And he might even get a rematch out of this, though uh, Juan Diaz is talking about fighting Ricky Hatton in the last I heard. Um, I'm, not, I'm not so sure as to what happens with that because um, I think Amir Khan and Hatton are eventually uh, the two that are going to square off for all the money. But, uh, you know, uh, maybe, maybe Malinaji gets a rematch, maybe he doesn't. Probably does deserve one, though, and uh, sure it would be nice to see. It was a pretty good card on um, HBO this past week. All three fights went the distance, so uh, it was. It ended up being a nice uh, long night of boxing. And of course, Roberto uh, Guerrero, the the ghost, um, you know, w winning uh, you know uh, another uh, world title at, at the next weight level up for him. And uh, you know, he he looked really sharp, showed a lot of angles, a lot of moves. And uh, you know, we've always been a big fan of the ghost. He's had a tough, tough, tough couple of years of outside the ring with everything going on in his family. And, um, you know, w with his wife and, and her battle with cancer. So uh, we, we wish the best of the girls, to the uh, Guerreros, and uh, congratulations, Robert. You really, you really looked like a real pro in there. Um, you, you know, you had a cut, a deep cut that was caused by a headbutt, and uh, you fought on, and you, you, you really fought like a champion all the way through to the final belt. Um, speaking of guys that fought through all the way to the final belt, Brian Valoria makes his uh, next fight this weekend, uh, you know, fighting in, in Hawaii. His first fight since winning uh, back the world title. Boy, we thought Valoria was done. We had written him off after the Omar Nino fights. And, um, you know, we, we didn't think that he just had, didn't have the heart to box anymore or the, or the will to be a champion anymore. Boy, did he prove us wrong. Last fight out, um, you know, Pinoy Power won. He, he goes out and beats Solis and, uh, in a fight that he easily could have given up at the end. But instead, he threw, uh, you know, just some really bomb punches and, uh, you know, he, to, to get the victory and to, to claim back the belt. He, he fights um, Jesus, Jesus uh, Iribe the, this weekend, and, uh, you know, we like Valoria, of course, in this one, and uh, kind of like a little homecoming, uh, you know, for him, and uh, really, the guy absolutely deserves it, because me, like so many others, had counted him out. 
Um, so really, that, that's all the latest box news. We got a lot more coming up as the fall is just packed with big action fights. We don't like for these to run too long, so uh, that'll be it for today. Maybe we'll come back later on this week with some more boxing. This is Mitch from the SportsChatPlace.com. Be sure to check out all of our sports picks, write-ups, and action at SportsChatPlace.com.